Hello and welcome at Tech and Just Virtual Tutor channel. Today in this tutorial of biology, we will talk about the biological method. Biological method is a scientific way to find the answer to a biological problem which is related to any organism. The steps used in the system of biological method, they are observation, hypothesis, deduction, experiment, result and theory. Let's set an incident as an example, say malaria, and then we will talk about these steps. So you will know the meanings of these steps as well as you will understand that how they are interlinked together. Alright, so let's start with our chosen incident of malaria. And it is like this, that in the year 1878, a sick person visited the doctor. Now, keep in mind that in those days, malaria was not known by name, and it was considered as a fatal disease. It means that nobody knew about malaria. Anyways, this doctor, who was a French physician by the name of Alphonse Laverne, he chose to take a chance and he drew some blood out of this patient to test it. Later on, while checking this blood under the microscope, the doctor observed some tiny creatures in the blood. You can understand that a thought begins to develop in our mind when we observe some unique or new thing. So the same thing happened with this doctor as well while he was examining this blood sample. And here, the new or unique thing that he observed were these tiny creatures in the blood sample. So accordingly, in the biological method, the first step would be observation so that a new objective can take place. Alright? Okay, now, after observing these tiny creatures, the doctor made a note of his findings and set out meetings with other doctors to discuss the issue. Now, what do you think these meetings will contain? Well, the doctor has to tell those other doctors in the meeting the complete story, the relevant facts attached to his findings, which could be signs and symptoms of the disease, environmental effects on patient, health of patient, etc. And maybe he would show them the samples of blood as well. On the top of everything, he probably would mention that he thinks about his findings or we can say he would share his views about these tiny creatures. Now, since those other doctors are convinced with his findings and explanation, there would be several meetings now, and they all will try to find the possible facts about the occurrence of these tiny creatures and the disease that it can cause. In our set incidents example of malaria, they named these creatures as plasmodium, and they contributed their best guess about the occurrence of plasmodium and the disease which possibly can be caused by this. So with regards to these meetings, a hypothesis took place where a team of professionals shared their views about the incident and they contributed their best guess. Now since so much of time has been invested in the shape of meetings by these experts and professionals, a hypothesis is formed, their views and guess have been collected on the issue. So now these meetings will continue and enter a new phase, which is called deduction in biological method. Generally, deduction means a logical explanation, where two statements are derived from a given data, and the third statement, which is the answer of these two statements, is called a logical explanation or deduction. Let's take an example for it. The first statement is that a biology class is going on. And then the second statement is that Dave is attending the class. So comparing these two statements, the 
third statement which will be derived out of these two statements would be that dev is the student of biology so now looking at this example we can say that in biological method a deduction would be a process where all the views and the best guess of all the team members of this meeting are put together and reviewed at this time certain discussions and debates will take place which would prolong and extend involving further meetings until the team reaches to a deduced result and this result would be called the deduction which certainly means a logical explanation now in our set incident example the deduction was that if plasmodium is the cause of this disease then healthy people should not have plasmodium in their blood now after the deduction comes experiment experiment is a set of physical procedure where the statements of deduction are physically applied now having said that the medical team decided that they would conduct a survey and check the blood samples of 100 sick people as well as 100 healthy people you can understand that this experiment was being conducted to check if the deduction is true or not means that healthy people should not have plasmodium in their blood now since the experiment is being conducted then obviously the following step would be the result where all the reports of blood test are put together and the final answer is concluded now if the answer obtained from these experiments is true then this means that the hypothesis is correct and since the hypothesis is found true and correct then the final step of theory takes place which includes the observation all statement reviews suggestions and guesses which were recorded in the meeting then hypothesis deduction experiment and results all these information get bound in one cover and this is called the theory now the pattern of this theory writing should be such that if someone wants to go through it and perform experiments they should be able to easily follow the steps given in the theory now later when this theory reaches more and more hands and gains more approvals it would begin to gain authenticity and will be followed with more confidence all right now this tutorial reaches the end and we hope that it will be informative and beneficial for you if you like this tutorial then we certainly deserve your hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified of our new uploads Okay bye for now and see you in the next tutorial